Episode 1243, Why Is Everything Out of Balance? Moms, it's time to rediscover, rejuvenate, and renew who you are in mind, body, and spirit. Welcome to Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie, the show to help you do just that. Here's your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Staring at a stop sign, watching people drive Happy Happy Day. Today is Wellness Wednesday, and I hope that you have your heart filled with joy. Maybe it's been a crazy week. I want you to take a deep breath because we're going to dive deep into this question. Why is everything out of balance? It's something that you're probably not expecting. For those of you who are brand new to Create You Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already haven't had the opportunity, you'll want to head on over to createyournow.com where you can learn more and to sign up for the Kisses newsletter, the Keep It Simple Strategy Everyday Solutions to Live, Love, and Impact. Well, why is everything out of balance? I understand that life can get a little crazy. I get it. But what will your excuses get you? Tough questions. But I'm tired of seeing what is happening in the world. Yes, this is one episode that's coming from the heart with very little notes. When I got the news that Kate Spade took her own life, that's what reports are saying, that she died yesterday from an apparent suicide, I was shocked and my heart broke. My heart broke for her family, her friends, and my heart broke for the world. This stuff is happening all too often now. Everywhere you turn, there seems to be someone hurting and we're missing the boat. It doesn't matter where you come from, how much money you have. The pain is all the same. You know what it's like to hurt. Why is everything out of balance? Now, I want you to hang in here with me because I know it's Wednesday and you're thinking wellness, fitness, or nutrition, but this is something that is vital to your livelihood, and I'm not talking about the wallet in your purse. I'm talking about your heart, your mind, your body, and your spirit. Here at Creature Now, God really opened up a door for me. And he was showing me that we're trying to live almost too compartmentalized in our life. We try to fit everything in a box. I have to exercise for so many minutes and that goes there. I have to go to work and work for so many hours to get paid so much money to bring home a paycheck to pay so many bills that I have. I have to have a certain type of car. I have to dress a certain kind of way. I have to shop at a certain store. I have to have so many children. I have to be married for so many years to be successful. I have to, I have to, I have to. Why is everything out of balance? Well, for me, when I began searching in my tornado, it wasn't that I really felt out of balance. It was that I didn't realize that I was disconnecting myself from whom created me. And no, it's not going to be the easy solution. People will say, oh, well, yeah, you're just going to go and try to, you know, spread God all over the thing. And I'm thinking, well, what are we doing that's working besides spreading God all over the thing? Why is everything out of balance? Part of finding the balance in life is knowing whom you belong to. But why are we caught up in everything else that pulls our heart further away from where we need to be? What are you struggling with? Weight? Your job? Maybe you're building a business? Maybe your marriage is suffering? Parenting, spirituality, self-esteem, finances? The list can go on and on and on and on. Why is everything out of balance? Even with the advancements in technology and science, computers and engineering, people are suffering more. Have you realized that? I've got some girlfriends who really try to stay away from the news media. I totally get it because they want to stay focused. But then I also think, wait a minute, are we doing a disservice to humanity? That we are becoming so disconnected as people. We're not even connected to each other. Do you even know your next door neighbor? I mean, seriously, do you even know your next door neighbor? 
I was lucky from where we moved from. We had wonderful neighbors. And yes, I knew them. And I knew that I could go knock on the door and ask for an egg or a cup of milk. Remember those good old days? Maybe some of you don't even realize that because you're much younger than me. Our neighbor on one side, well, when we moved in down south here, they had their house up for sale. Guess what? We had opportunities to meet them. They never once came over. Now, we kind of figured that maybe they really didn't care because their house is up for sale. So why invest in somebody else's life if you're not going to be around? But it seems like we're all taking that attitude. And when I say we're all, that includes me. I'm not putting myself up on a pedestal here. I'm raising some very serious questions today. We want to have wellness. We want to have health. We want to have this vibrant life. But why is everything out of balance? Yet that's what we're searching for. My heart is breaking. I don't take this lightly. Believe it or not, I do lose sleep over it. I consider you family. I pray for you. Because when you hurt I hurt. But for some reason, we're missing that boat now. We're not getting it. I don't know where our heads are, but I definitely know our hearts are not in it. So why you chew on that for just a moment? Let's pause for a word from our sponsor, Health, Hope, and Inspiration with Reverend Percy McRae, created by Cancer Treatment Centers of America. According to the American Cancer Society's January 2017 report, cancer death rates in the U.S. dropped 25% since 1991. In recent years, there have been some amazing discoveries by the medical community, new techniques and treatments, drugs and therapies. There is hope. Every week on the Health, Hope, and Inspiration podcast, Reverend Percy McRae will inspire you with practical information for your real-life questions about cancer prevention, treatment, and overall healthy living. Each program is designed to encourage your heart, educate your mind, strengthen your body, build your faith, and give you hope. You'll want to listen in each week by subscribing to the podcast at healthhopeandinspiration.com. So why is everything out of balance. You might be wanting that perfect life where you can live your perfect dream, but is that what you really want? Is it about the perfect everything, the perfect marriage, the perfect children, the perfect house with the white picket fence, everything so perfect? Maybe you're feeling out of balance too. Remember, we all bleed red. Just because you don't have fame doesn't mean you don't hurt. Depression and hurt is real. The pain of your heart being broken is real. The hopelessness of not being able to change your circumstances is real. And I want you to know that I'm here for you. I know you hear me say this, but I want you to listen and take it to heart. Remember, I pray for you because you're my family. Maybe no one knew what was going on in Kate's life, but was anyone paying attention? Now, understand, I am not at all sitting here trying to take her situation and put a spotlight on it and blow it up, her situation. What I'm trying to do here is call you and me out on what we're supposed to be doing in this world and where our impact falls. Create Your Now is about live, love, and impact. And we're forgetting that we're connected as what? Human beings. We're people. We're not these little tablets that walk around. We're not this little text message with lots of emojis. You know what? That's fun. Have you ever thought about what if you didn't wake up in the morning? What would your last text mean to somebody? Did you send a text that was inspiring and loving and kind and uplifting? Or was it more of a tear down and you don't know what you're doing and I wish you could be better than what you are? Yeah, I know. This is a really tough one. 
And maybe you're a little mad at me right now. That's okay. Go ahead and send me the emails. Because I believe we are beating around the bush. We are not getting to the heart of what is happening in the world that we touch every single day. And we all touch a different part of it. It breaks me down. It breaks my heart. And if it breaks me, what do you think it's doing to God's heart? Why is everything out of balance? Maybe someone you know in your family, in your community, needs you to be paying attention to them. Needs a kind word. A, hey girl, you got this. I'm here if you need to talk. Maybe you are saying, Christiane, I am so out of balance and I don't know what I'm doing. I don't feel like I'm being a good mom. I feel like I'm burning the candle at both ends. I can't make this business go right. I can't get the clients I need to make it survive. I've been working on it for two years and I just don't think I can put in another year without showing something for it. When everything's out of balance, whom do you turn to? You know, it does all come down to you and me and what we control. Stop pointing fingers and ask yourself, what do you control? What do you control? That is your kiss to keep it simple strategy. It is a question. But it's a question I want you to sit with. I want you to chew on it. What do you control? Because you see, a lot of things that we're doing, what is we're taking our excuses and putting everything off. What do you need to change that you control? What do you control in the area of your life that needs attention? What is it? If you go back to the list we were talking about earlier, wait. So when you go grocery shopping and you're looking there, you sit there and go, oh yeah, that looks good because I'm in the mood for it and I can buy it, so I'm going to buy it. Or do you ask yourself the question, okay, what do I control? And in this situation, I know my health is my priority. Is this going to benefit my health? Maybe if we start asking the right questions instead of just having others give us answers, maybe things would be a little bit different. What do you control? You control how much time you're on social media versus how much time you're spending with your children. You control how much time you might be Sending emails out instead of being with your husband. Technology is a great thing, but it can also be a horrible thing. It can be very detrimental to relationships. And honestly, I don't believe our world yet has figured out how to balance that, if there is such a thing. Balance can be, whew, that can be like a whole seminar series. Maybe one of these days we'll tackle that. Because I've seen a lot of things and I believe that balance, well, we'll just leave it at that. What do you control? What do you need changed in your life? Instead of taking on these excuses and saying, oh, well, I've got this. I don't have time because I'm going to be at the traveling softball team. And so, uh, you know what? I just got to go through the drive through because I can't eat healthy. And, oh, you know what? I have to send these emails. And, you know, my marriage just really isn't worth it. And if it was, he'll understand. And, you know, we'll talk or something later. What is filling up your life? Or is it empty? Why is everything out of balance? Well, honestly, I believe a lot of things are out of balance because we have forgotten whom we belong to. 
and who is known to us. And for some reason, he's no longer in our Instagram stories and he doesn't show up in our Facebook feeds. What would happen if he did? What would he see in your life? Would he see impact? You working for progress, not perfection? Would he see love and kindness and compassion? Or would he see a grouchy woman on a mission to tear someone else down so she can feel better? I told you this was going to be a rough one. But sometimes we need these rough things in our life to kind of shake us up, to realize that, wait a minute, I was created on purpose for a purpose. That means God has given me a mission and a vision so I can live, love, and impact. And every single step that I take leads to miles of greatness, which allows me to create my now. Do you see the connection? Do you feel it today? Why is everything out of balance? Because maybe you're missing the one thread. God. I read, speaking of Facebook, I read a little uh, Facebook post from one of my former worship pastors. And as he was writing, he said that he was going through, he was recovering from knee replacement And during this time of being down and out, basically, not being able to have full mobility, etc. God basically convicted him that he needed to work on his prayer life. You know, even our pastors can get disconnected from whom we were created by. You're wanting balance in your life. You're wanting health and wellness. You want vitality. You want to fill your heart with joy. Start asking yourself the question, what do you control and to whom do I belong? It's hard to do this by yourself. I know. Sometimes it's hard to have that dialogue with yourself. Others are like, oh, I've got this. I can figure it out. I don't want you to feel alone. And I don't want you to feel like you're in a hopeless situation. So if you were sitting here listening to me right now, and you've heard this over and over again, that I have something for you. Today is your day then. I want you to click on the link, take aim in the show notes. Even if the only thing you get down on that paper is your name, And where you found me. Because obviously you and I need to talk. Don't be afraid. There's help out there for everyone. You know, I'm not really big on fancy stuff. I don't follow a lot of people, meaning that You know, I don't care if they're a rock star or a famous actress or a fashion designer or my person who mows my lawn. They're all beautiful people. They all carry the same value to me. And so today I want you to feel that worth in yourself. I want you to know that you are loved and you're not alone, that there is hope. If you're wanting to talk to someone and you are like, I don't know, I've just been wrestling with this and I don't even know where to start. Click on the link, take aim in the show notes. I am here for you. Don't wait another second. Do it right now. You got the technology in your hand. What are you waiting for? If you're feeling like everything is so out of balance, now is your time. Because I'm telling you right now, it doesn't get any easier. Just because you get older doesn't mean you're going to get wiser. Just because the kids are growing up doesn't mean you're going to have it all put together. Marriage doesn't heal up on itself. 
So I'm here for you. You don't have to feel like this is a hopeless situation. And on a more important note, if you are sitting here listening and right now at the sound of my voice, you've at some point considered suicide, thought about it. I want to give you a phone number to the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. It's 1-800-273-8255. We all bleed red. It doesn't matter where we come from. It doesn't matter who we are. It doesn't matter our race or our status in life. It doesn't matter what we do. And it doesn't matter what we drive. And it has no bearing on our bank account. We all bleed red. So today is your time to take balance back. Whether it's reaching out to someone within your own community. And you need to help someone else. Because some of us, praise the Lord, we've got it together at least for a few moments. Maybe not every single second. But we're in the position to be able to help. Then guess what? Go and reach someone today. If you've got someone on your mind, there's a reason why that someone is on your mind. I don't take that by accident. It's not a coincidence. It's not a, ooh. No, it's not any of that. If someone all of a sudden has popped into your mind, then go do something about it. Send them a loving text. Better yet, call them on the phone. Hear their voice. Just let them know you're thinking about them. You want them to know how special they are to you. But if you're one who's sitting there going, oh, I'm out of balance and I need some help, then reach out. Reach out. Whether it's contacting the National Suicide Prevention Hotline, reaching out to me, click on the link, take aim in the show notes. Maybe it's talking to a confidant like your mom or your, you know, your bestie. Whatever you need to do, but don't wait. And ultimately right now, this world is hurting. So I want to pause for a moment. And I want you to pause with me. You all know that I'm Christian. And so whether or not you believe, it doesn't matter. But right now, I just want you to be still. I want you to quiet yourself. I want you to hear the things around you. Whether it's birds singing because you're outside walking around or doing yard work. Maybe it's the laundry room and you've got the, you know, washing machine going and it's making noises. Maybe it's the air conditioner coming on because it's getting too hot outside. Just hear those noises. Now I want you to quiet them. And I want you to feel the presence of God wrapping his arms around you. Stay there, right there in that moment. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, right now, you know the person who is listening. Lord, touch their heart. Speak to their mind. Let them know that you are there. Lord, this world We don't know what's coming of it, but we know that we can't do anything without you, Lord. And so right now, I ask that you put a hedge of protection around the family here today. The one who's listening, who's hurting, the one who's struggling with an adult child. The one who's wishing they would have done something different in their career. The one whose marriage is falling apart. And the other one whose self-esteem is basically in the ditch. There is no confidence any longer, Lord. You hear their cries. You feel their pain. Wrap your arms around them and let them feel your love. Lord, we know that all things are possible with you. You can heal a broken heart. Lord, begin that process today. Give them the strength to take action, 
to take aim in their life. Give them direction so they know what next step needs to be taken. Lord, they want to be known by you. Let them hear your voice and feel your presence today. It's in your precious and holy name we pray. Amen. You are loved. You are not alone. God created you on purpose for a purpose. Today, make it count. Be present. Be incredible. Be you. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, hugs, and lots and lots of love. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.